in this video we are going to discuss a new chapter today that is quadratic equation and the standard form of a quadratic equation is given by ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 as you can see the highest power on variable is 2 that's why its degree is 2 that's why it is called quadratic equation okay so now you see a quadratic equation a quadratic equation has two roots or two solutions as its degree is 2 suppose we have considered their alpha and beta okay like quadratic polynomials sum of its roots are uh, is equal to minus b by a and product is given by c by a okay so you see if b is equal to 0 then the roots are equal but opposite in sign okay that means you see if b is equal to 0 okay then the roots of this two equa this equation will be equal but opposite in sign okay suppose if one root is plus 2 then another another root must be minus 2 okay why because you see if alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a okay minus b by a if the roots are equal but opposite in sign then their sum will be 0 okay that means minus b by a will be equal to 0 so b will be equal to definitely 0 okay so if a is equal to c then the roots are reciprocal of each other okay so here you see suppose you have to, one root is 1 by 2 then another must be 2 okay now you see we know product of the roots is equal to alpha into beta that is equal to c by a okay if roots are reciprocal of each other if one is uh, one root is 2 another root is half then their product must be equal to 1 so c by a will be equal to 1 which implies a is equal to c okay so these are two important points now you see if the quadratic equation is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 then this b square minus 4 ac is called its discriminant okay if its value is greater than 0 that means if you get positive value then roots are real but not equal they are unequal okay so now you see if b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 then roots are real and equal okay and if its value is less than 0 that means negative value then roots are not real okay so these are the three uh, conditions okay which determines the nature of the roots okay a quadratic equation can be solved by following three methods factorization completing square method and using the quadratic formula this is called quadratic formula okay now i will show you how to derive the quadratic formula using completing square method okay we can use the completing square method to derive the quadratic formula suppose we have a quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 okay in completing square method we have to set this part okay this right left hand side not right hand side left hand side in this form a x square plus twice a b plus b square okay or a square minus twice a b plus b square okay it depends on this sign of the middle term if it is positive then we have to express it in the form of a x square plus twice a b plus b square if it is negative then we have to express this is at this one as a square minus twice a b plus b square okay then here you see then we can write a plus b whole square if positive or if the middle term is negative a minus b whole square okay so that is completing square method okay so now in order to apply that method we have to divide both side by the coefficient of x square what is the coefficient of x square a, a. okay so let us divide both side by a okay 0 divided by is 0 okay and if you divide first term by a then a will be cancelled here so we got x square here then 
this b x becomes b x by a and c by a here okay so now you see in order to express this in this form here it is positive so we will express this one in this form a plus twice a b plus b square plus b square okay so now look at this so let us consider x square as a square okay if so then we need a 2 here so that is 2 i have written as i have x square uh, as i have considered as x square as a square so instead of a there must be x okay now you see this 2 was not there here the, you see 2 was not present so that's why in order to make it cancel we should give here one more 2 okay then this b by a becomes b by twice a if 2 2 cancel then again we will get b x by a okay hope you have understood this so now you have to assume this one as b okay assume this one as b okay so that's why if it is b then there must be b square which is b by twice a whole square okay so then this term was also not the in the last step okay in the second step this term was not present there so in order to make it cancel we have to give minus b by twice a whole square again okay then last term is written here okay so now hope you have understood this so this is what completing square method now let me clear this now you can see this part this part is in this form a x square plus twice a b plus b square here okay this is a square this is twice a b b square okay so now this can be written as a plus b whole square okay this is equal to what a plus b whole square so this is a plus b whole square okay now let us transfer these two remaining terms on the other side okay so we have got on the right hand side squaring squaring this term we have got b square by 4 a square okay now taking lcm 4 a square and a lcm of 4 a square and a is 4 a square because a is a factor of 4 a square now look at this here you see if these two lcm of these two is 4 a square so here you see when you divide 4a square by 4a square you will get 1 so 1 into b square is b square so again when you will divide 4a square by a then you will get 4a so 4a into c gives 4ac okay hope you have understood it just uh, i have taken lcm okay so now as there is a square so we have taken a square root on both sides so that's why on this side we have got x plus b by a on this side plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 4a square okay this square root is on the whole term okay so now you see square root of 4a square is twice a so now square root square root is on numerator only okay so now you see this term is transferred to other side which becomes minus b by twice a okay <coughs> now again we have taken lcm here then we have got this this is the quadratic formula okay so hope you have understood and the method we have applied here that is called completing square method okay now let me show you how to solve a quadratic equation by factorization method suppose we have a quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 okay so here you see first we have to multiply the coefficient of x square and the constant term constant is here 6 and the coefficient of x square is 1 so 6 1 the 6 okay then we have to factorize this product okay suppose 2 3 is a 6 we need to take two such factors 
there either their sum or difference is equal to the coefficient of the middle term that is 5 okay here so 2 3 is a, uh, sorry 2 plus 3 is 5 and product is equal to the product of the constant term and the coefficient of x square so now so that's why this 5 is split it into 3 plus 2 okay so this is splitting the middle term okay we are factorizing this splitting the middle term and from here i think uh, you should know that so here we have taken x common then we have got x plus 3 here from these two we have taken 2 common then here we have got x plus 3 2 into x twice x 2 into 3 6 okay so now this x plus 3 is common and here we have got x plus 2 within bracket so these are the two factors of this part and as their product is equal to 0 therefore either both are 0 or any one of them 0 so we can write x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0 from there we have got two roots of this equation what are the roots minus 3 and minus 2 okay these are the solutions of this equation okay so let me show you how to solve this same problem with the help of quadratic formula okay so this is how we can solve this equation by quadratic formula this is zero okay so here a means the coefficient of x square that is one okay and b is the coefficient of x that is five and c is the constant that is six okay now use this value in this formula okay so minus b b is five so i have written here five plus minus b square b square means here 5 square minus 4 a a is 1 value of a is 1 and c is 6 okay now we have got minus 5 plus minus root over 25 minus 24 5 square 25 isn't it so 4 6 are 24 here we have got 24 then here it is the square root of 1 25 minus 24 is 1 isn't it the square root of 1 is 1 so as there was plus minus that means there must be two roots one is minus 5 plus 1 another must be minus 5 minus 1 okay which is equal to minus 5 plus 1 is equal to minus 4 minus 4 by 2 is nothing but minus 2 okay and minus 6 by 2 is equal to minus 3 okay these are the solution so and we have got the same answers minus 3 and minus 2